is up, people of the internet? My name is Freelancer Ember, and welcome back to another Death Battle reaction video. This is gonna be Battle of the I I don't oh superior psychic abilities. I don't know if Magneto's power is considered psychic. Anyways, psychic abilities between Magneto from Marvel and Tetsuo from Akira. So before we begin, please, 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 please watch the original episode on either the Rooster Teeth website or the Death Battle YouTube channel before coming to my reaction or anybody else's reactions. Go support the team that's been making the series awesome. So, so unlike last um, uh, episode where it's pretty much one-sided, we're probably going to see like how these two fare. Though I don't know much about Akira because I never really saw the movie, though I don't know if I'll really care for about it. Mar I mean, Magneto on the other hand... Uh, there's gonna be lots of feats that I probably don't know about for the comics and such. Because, yeah, I've never read the comics, yada yada yada. And, and no, I'm not gonna vote for- I'm not gonna vote for Magneto just because he's Marvel. I'll still hear them out. I'll hear them both out. And hopefully I make the right decision. So, um, anyway, I don't have anything else to say that I could think about right now. So, let's just get this episode started. Okay. Alright, so, Magneto versus Tetsuo. <clears throat> it's a face-off of the evolutionary evolutionary revolutionaries in this death battle. Who wields the superior psychic abilities? So, I guess power of mutants. That's what I probably should have thought of. Anyway, uh, let it begin in 3, 2, 1, go. Magneto, Marvel's mutant master of magnetism. Tetsuo Shima, Akira's telekinetic terror of Neo-Tokyo. These two maestros of Kinesis have ignited revolution not just in their worlds, but there. also the very mediums they exist within. Yeah. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their 90s, weapons, um... armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, 2D anim- I mean, 2D spread animation. In the short duration of modern civilization, Likely no conflict tested humanity more than the Second World War. In the primary Marvel 616 universe, this fact is no different, especially to the Eisenhart family and their only son. You may know him as Oh yeah, Magnus, I remember the movie. Harry, like or Max. But if you ask him, the... he'd say his true name is Magneto. Yeah. As a Jewish child in Nazi Germany, Magneto's early life was, well, extremely traumatic. Even after eventually escaping certain death with his future wife, misfortune always followed wherever he went. Thanks that could be to his of course. unexpected mutation called the X gene, the mark of a superhuman. After settling down in Russia with his new family, the KGB quickly found out about this quirk. So Bruh. they burned his house down with his own daughter inside. Ooh. Naturally, he snapped and killed them all. Now don't blame him. I'd do that too. I mean, too bad his wife didn't get it and ditched him though. But that's when Magneto made a choice. But did he? Since but did he save his daughter? His entire life, he'd do the I guess not. To them in the name of mutants everywhere. At first, Magneto turned to the telepathic powerhouse Charles Xavier and his fledgling team of heroes. But his new friend wasn't thrilled with the idea of, uh, subjugating the human race. So uh. Magneto formed his own team of mutants, the Brotherhood. Oh, okay. Magneto can Good. telekinetically move, bend, and reshape any metal he's aware of. Okay. Bullets, vehicles, buildings, you name it. Okay. Even himself when he manipulates his personal magnetic field oh, for okay. flight and energy okay. barriers. Magnetic kinesis is far more versatile than it would appear at first glance. Okay. The blood in your body has iron in it. The air has traces of lead and mercury. Whole mountains are lined with metallic ore. Huh. The earth itself is surrounded by a literal magnetic okay, field. Okay, so, so Magneto has a big advantage there. To play with. He can detect magnetic fields at such a huge range, he can even pinpoint Earth's magnetic rays while stranded on a planet in another galaxy. Really now? what? He was able to use those rays to pull himself... Magnetic rays. De I mean, detect Earth's magnetic rays from another planet in another galaxy. I don't know. Magneto might have the win on this one. Well, let's just see. Back to Earth in a single day. His range is even more remarkable than that. Did you know that in 1820, physicist Hans Christian Oersted discovered that electric currents, like those of electrons and protons and atoms, produce their own magnetic fields. Okay. Magneto can fine-tune his control to affect these very subatomic particles. Subatomic. The dummy here will illustrate such subatomic a with positively charged protons and negative electrons. I could probably put. I pro. I'm probably gonna butcher the definition, but subatomic, practically so tiny you can't even see it. 
Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, summertime is like really, really tiny. I, I don't know. <sighs> My life is as meaningless as an atom is small. So what you're saying is Magneto could, like, yank one of those out. Correct. Oh. Potentially changing an atom's entire chemical makeup. Oh. However, neutrons do no. not have a charge. Boomstick. And without the ability to adjust those to accommodate the change in atomic mass, the atom would become unstable and... Finally! Do that. Uh. Magneto's violent protest against humankind clashed with Xavier's peaceful reconciliation. Not Rap. unlike the ideologies taught by Malcolm X and Dr. King, uh. by whom Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were inspired. Magneto oh. would spend most of his career pushing Xavier oh, away I, to prove I love X-Men Evolutions. Superior, which meant doing battle with Xavier's da, 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 school of thought, da, da, quite da, da, literally. Da, 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 da. And Baldi's mind powers are no joke, but thanks to Magneto's psionic repelling helmet, Professor X couldn't touch him. Magneto survived I didn't read Cyclops' earth-splitting lasers, absorbed earth -splitting. the power of the sun to battle Iron Man, ripped power the, the sun skeleton out of Wolverine's body, Ooh. and even taken on Hercules himself. You know, the Greek legend, Zero to Hero, the <laughs> guy who held up the skies of Olympus for Atlas? Oh. That Hercules. Seems sensible. Hmm. Magneto once used the Earth's magnetic field to overwhelm the Phoenix Force, which can effortlessly destroy planets, let alone far more. Woo! Hell, if he really wanted to, Magneto could totally just fling the Earth off its axis. It's entirely hmm. possible he may have eventually resorted to just that. Over time, it Bruh. became clear Magneto's war was doing far more harm oh, than good for the his fellow mutants. I like that. It was a little was canceled first. Luckily, he later realized he was going a bit overboard and began reevaluating his perspective. Mm. Good for you, Megs. But? It's really tough to recognize when you're the baddie. It but? took time and patience, not just from Magneto, but also from his peers. Uh. Yet eventually, his path was completely changed. He even became a leader for Xavier's X-Men. But don't let his new goody two shoes uh, ways fool you. Yeah, yeah. Whenever there's a threat to mutants, you can oh, bet Magneto just will mutants. be there to annihilate it forever. By any means necessary. <laughs> okay, so Magneto might have the advantage here. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, I don't know if Akira has like, a like a manga. Probably, it probably does. I mean, it's an, an like a an anime sort of. But, but all I know is if there's a movie. I don't know if there. I don't remember that if there's ever been a series of it. All I know is just there's a movie and probably a manga. We'll see. Over 30 years ago, a new type of bomb was set off over Tokyo, and nine hours later, began the Third World War. Oof. Welcome to 2030, or 2019 if you're watching the anime. The buildings ah. are taller, the motorcycles are cooler, and the future is brighter. Oh, wait, not really. If you oh. find yourself in the capsule oh. gang, you'll meet Shotaro Kaneda, who's like your textbook anime Chad. Gets the ladies, beats the baddies, and cops the sweetest rigs. Okay. Man, I need to get me one of those. <laughs> The freaking motorcycle and then meme. There's the little brother of the group, Kaneda's best friend, Tetsuo Shima. Oh. He's. Well, the exact opposite. A total wimp. As a kid, Tetsuo in his college thesis forehead got bullied for being the new kid at the orphanage. That's until Big Bro Kaneda came to the rescue. Eventually, the two went to vocational school together and formed the Capsules. But oh. Tetsuo was never satisfied with Kaneda being the leader of the pack. Tetsuo desired more than anything to be top dog. Oh, okay. oh I can just see that monkey's paw curling in my mind. Or like, that kid giant head right there. The Shit, Tetsuo, watch out, you're gonna... That definitely should have killed him. But since it didn't, Tetsuo earned himself a ticket to military confinement. Turns out they had an under-the-table program for developing child super weapons. In Rats. the same program that backfired and jump-started the war, Tetsuo became Japan's Esper number 41. Whoa. He may not have been a natural with bikes, baddies, or babes, but this telekinesis stuff hit different. He walked out of that hospital ward effortlessly flying, reading minds, and blending people into strawberry jelly. Tetsuo got what he wanted. Power, along with the hunger for more of it. A hunger that used to only yeah, be there associated it is. with drugs. And uh. not just any gateway drug. Pills so potent that a single gram of the stuff could kill you. Ooh. So, pretty bad. Kinda reminds me of college days, huh, Snow Wizard? <coughs> Tetsuo's main ability is his constantly increasing psionic energy, growing more and more powerful over time. This is due to Tetsuo's link to, quote, the memories of the universe, end quote. What? It's weird. 
Either way, Tetsuo leveled up from lame gangbuster to certified okay, freaking red tape there. This guy is a walking natural disaster. His telekinesis can shake the planet, easily cause earthquakes over a dozen miles below the surface. He can summon psychic barriers for defense and crush foes with freaking gravity wells. Okay. He can dart around as a literal bolt of lightning or even teleport in an instant. Oh. Tetsuo's telekinesis can be so precise he can target and obliterate specific parts of the body. He can heal severe wounds quickly, but even after losing a whole limb, he can craft a new one using whatever nearby materials he wants. Okay. With these powers, Top Dog Canada didn't matter anymore. Who needed his approval? Tetsuo tasted that good shit and he was hooked. And when he found out another esper named Akira could deal him even more power, he rampaged through Tokyo to find him. And this is where versions of the story differ. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spoilers ahoy! Okay. You may be familiar with the 1988 animation, where Akira had been dissected for research. Ew. However, in the original manga, oh, okay. Akira is not only alive, but even more powerful. Once okay. that little runt nuked Tokyo, Tetsuo would erect the Great Tokyo Empire with Akira and himself as its leaders. But he ended up just abusing the position for endless sex and inflating his ego. With Kanada's rebellion at his front door, Tetsuo took a turn for the worse. He had to fight. Tetsuo's mm. defeated other powerful espers, dodged light speed lasers, and jumped to the moon faster than anyone could blink, and then punched a big old hole in it. And if you okay. ask, Boomstick, wouldn't that mess up gravity on Earth? You would be right, because it totally did. Yeah. Screwed the planet, I guess. Okay. Stupid moon. Which brings us to Tetsuo's folly. His abuse of his powers spiraled until he lost control. Unfortunately for Kanada's rebellion, this did not make Tetsuo an easier enemy to confront. Exactly opposite, in fact, has Tetsuo painfully mutated into an unstoppable behemoth. Ew, ew, nope, ew. That's not totally disturbing at all. I'm happy to say the manga's version is even more disturbing. Yeah. I mean, I know babies can be monsters, but that's a whole nother level. Yeah. It is pain incarnate. I can relate. Another esper described Tetsuo's struggle as ego death, which has multiple definitions, but in this case, is likely symbolic of the version attributed to drug use. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's described as a shedding of one's own identity, like how LSD can emulate a wild okay. out of buddy experience, and you come back with a new perspective. Though this okay. is maybe a little more extreme. In fact, you could say Tetsuo was shedding his human body to play with the powers of a god. I wish I could shed out of my body. But in this case, yeah. Tetsuo going full out of body meant becoming a mound of raw, ever-expanding energy. Okay. Which almost nuked Tokyo all over again. And those explosions are not normal. I would know. Top scientists in both the manga and animated versions describe okay. these explosions as births of a new universe. Oh! Given its properties of nuclear fusion and proton collapse, Tetsuo's mutated form was likely creating a big bang. You know, the thing that started our whole universe? Right. In the manga, it instead ended the espers and their abilities once and for all. Okay. A testament that humankind is unsuited to wield the powers of the divine. Though the anime is even more trippy. Thanks to Akira and his buddies, Tetsuo got so high on ego death, he ascended time space to become god of a new universe. Kind, kind of worth it, right? And yet, Kanada kept his empire up in his honor. Now as the great Akira Empire. Ironically, in death, Tetsuo finally received the attention he so desperately craved. Okay, now I'm not too sure about this one. Um, like, he... Tetsuo practically, if I heard right, I'm probably, like, misinterpreting it or just missing up parts, but, but, um, he, Tetsuo practically create, well, created another, a new universe. Magneto, I don't know if he, I don't think he even did the same thing. Okay, I'm not too sure, oh, I'm not too sure about this one. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Um, I, uh, though, from what I saw, be since, Tet since Tetsu can, like, regrow his arm, but not, like, full flesh and bone, he did, they did say, it, like, whatever, like, whatever's, like, whatever's there, so, if you want to have a new arm, it's metal, and that could be an advantage for Magneto. Uh, but the whole, like, take, creating a new planet, or, like, like ascending a new universe or something? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Magneto in this one. A again, not because of the Marvel, but because, um, 
Again, yeah, I'm just I'm just not too familiar with Akira. I'm aware of it. I'm just not too familiar with it. And I, I did say that they were they were um taking the both anime and manga. But again, so I'm I'm sorry. I'm just got to go for Magneto this way. I have been paying attention. I've tried to. Okay, I tried. Okay, um, we're gonna go with Magneto. Three, two, one, go. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's, it's time, time for a death, death battle! Even in Japan, they fail to recognize our superiority. Wrong country, Grandpa! You're an Akira turf now! Fight! You're dead meat! Okay. Impudent child. The hell are you calling child? I make the rules around here. I don't know. Maybe his. I don't know. Maybe Tetsu's ego might be his downfall. Because remember, because remember, he just doesn't want to be like second best or something. You're wasting my time. And freaking Magneto. I don't. Well. Ugh. Politrix for the master of magnetism. Woo. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Your history, scumbag. Okay, okay, okay. There goes his helmet. I believe I've had enough tantrums to last a lifetime. Okay, I think I might have lost I might have lost this one. Okay, yeah, I might have lost this one. Ew, 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 ew! Listen, welcome. I'll handle this on my own. Not die. Hurts. Help me. What? I heard help me. Oh yeah, iron and blood. Oh, there goes the ascending. Yeah, I might have lost this one. Oh? Poor child. No, wait. No. I might have lost this one. No. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Tetsuo's esoteric telekinesis and other bizarre abilities certainly gave Magneto pause. Let me see. Okay, Magneto's stronger, faster, tougher. Okay, Mag Mag magnetic kinesis countered Tetsuo's offense. Magnetic sense countered Tetsuo's mobility. Okay, but the downside, inferior healing options. Yeah, he doesn't have like the... He doesn't have like the kind of healing uh, stuff that Tetsuo has. Uh, could eventually grow more powerful. Okay, eventually. But Tetsuo could kill Magneto without his shield, but, uh, okay, okay then, though his application was less versatile, overexertion, responding, okay, far less combat, yeah, see, far less combat, tactical experience, I, I was about to say that Magneto has more experience 
with the, with all this. But the master of magnetism had greater control over his foe. The numbers don't lie. Tetsuo cratering the moon was insane, but Magneto punched Iron Man with the force of the sun. Force of the and sun. And while Tetsuo jumped all the way to the moon, Magneto couldn't move across galaxies. Against Tetsuo in his human form, Magneto obviously held a sizable advantage in power and speed. But stats aren't all that matters. With his precise telekinesis, Tetsuo could just target Magneto's organs. GG, right? Yes, but Magneto had similar skills. There are very few substances on Earth that lack any metallic or magnetic component. Okay. And Magneto is very creative with his powers. Yeah. Which he could use to predict Tetsuo's teleportation and even shut down his telekinesis. Okay. And his scraps with Xavier prove he could handle Tetsuo's messing with his head. The biggest challenge for Magneto was when Tetsuo's gross mutated power came into play. Especially given how the detonations from his form were compared to that of a Big Bang. Although the authenticity of that observation is questionable. Oh. In truth, the Big Bang was a sudden expansion of matter on a universal scale, whereas Tetsuo's explosions are more akin to nuclear blasts. Oh, okay. Clearly intentional given the post-war symbolism of the Akira story. Okay. The whole creating an alternate universe bit wasn't even part of the original material, so we can't exactly call it canon. But let's just say the comparison wasn't superfluous. Let's say Tetsuo did in fact cause a Big Bang capable of creating or destroying an entire universe alternate or otherwise turns out magneto had the tools to stop that too helmet really? head could overpower hercules who was strong enough to hold up the skies of olympus oh. which is literally heaven and an alternate universe oh okay this doesn't necessarily mean magneto could easily destroy a universe with a snap of his fingers but it does prove he can match a similar level of power and context is everything. Oh, Tetsuo's okay. Big Bang eruption specifically exhibited proton collapse, okay. meaning its atomic structure was primarily an unstable mess of neutrons and electrons. And Magneto has detected and commanded unstable electrons before. This means Magneto had every means available to take control over this Big Bang. Oh. Damn, and I thought he could just move some metal around. It's like the Me question too. posed by some of the greatest prophets of our time. Fucking magnets. <laughs> How do they even work? Magneto's astonishing power and intelligent control over all things magnetism triumphed in the end. Tetsuo pushed his luck, but didn't have the metal to pull off the win. God damn it, Boomstick. The winner is Magneto. Oh my god, I'm on a roll here! I'm on a roll! Thank you for watching this episode. If you'd like to directly support the whole Death Battle team, click that join button and consider becoming a member. Alright, who's next? Really Gotta get myself prepared. Hope you like the next one. Oh, what? 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 Her oh, Hercules versus Sun Wukong! Hello? Wow, Hercules versus Sun Wukong. I did not I did not expect that. I was not expecting that. Um, uh, okay then, but- Oh yeah, I'm, I'm on a roll here! I'm on a- <laughs> I'm on a roll! I mean, I didn't get right in the, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, I didn't get rid of the Tanjiro versus Jonathan, but hey, I'm still on a roll here. I'm still on a roll. I'm one. Five, five for six, man. Five for six. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm curious to see how they do with, like, uh, um, the legends, the legends of our world. Sun Wukong and Hercules. I, I wonder how they're gonna do that. I highly doubt they're gonna take, um, uh, Disney Hercules in there, though I wouldn't be surprised if they did. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna end things off right here. So, yes, I, w I win another death battle. I'm on a roll. Five for, five for six, man. So, until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this death battle in the comment section down below. If you liked the video and enjoyed it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell button to be notified of my latest reactions. And follow me on Twitter at Freelancer Ember for pretty much the same thing or just random shit in general. Remember to stay awesome, be nice to animals, don't be dicks, keep moving forward, and I will see you all in the next video!